Welcome to SDH's coverage of everything going on in MLS Next Pro. We'll take you backward before we go forward, get you through the matches of the week, and get you ready for the weekend that will be because we are on the penultimate week of the regular season and playoff uh, positions are still being sought in the East and the West as well as positioning. Let's get into what happened over the last seven days, get you ready for the next seven Match week started out back on Thursday. Revs and OCB. Revs and OCB tied after 90 minutes. They go to PKs. New England gets the extra point, 3-2. Friday gets our first match of the weekend. From the Eastern Conference, NYCFC chasing after a playoff spot goes to Historic Crew Stadium to take on Columbus. Here's your highlights, courtesy of our friends at uh, MLS Next Pro and Apple TV. Since champions last year, they're going to try and ride the hot form of Gibran Rayo, Dennis Myers, and Jimenez. All three are goal scorers. All three are creators. And then a ton of excitement. MLS Next Pro action on MLS Season Pass on Apple TV. Starting out what is going to be an incredible weekend of play as teams fight to stay in. CFC able to work it to Jimenez once again. Jimenez puts it through the legs of Scott. And minutes after Columbus flashes one past the post, NYCFC have the lead. As a player and then a coach, Scott here under pressure turns it over. Owusu early into the feet of Aravalo. Aravalo now looking to challenge the back line. His shot is blocked. Second opportunity, and it's two. Johnny Shore, the 16-year-old with the second career pro soccer goal. NYCFC's playoff standing specifically, but currently Philadelphia and TFC tied 1-1. So NYCFC would pull further away from Philly as Aravalo challenging in the box and penalty kick coming. Aravalo, electric as a late. He has shown that he can do it as both a super sub and a starter, M.D. Myers now. Steps to the spot, dispatches it. Just 20 years old in that NYCFC starting lineup. North Bergen, New Jersey native just continuing to work and work. And Scott here off his line, and he got caught from midfield. What a night for Ronald Aravalo. recognition from Aravalo. Now Scott's been off his line the entire game, both in possession and defensively. But to pick that ball up, and the save by Rando. A huge save for Alex Rando to keep the shutout. And the strike from Morocco get past him. And this man, right now the man of the match, late addition to the starting lineup, Aravalo, and he's got two goals and an assist. Right and left foot. On top of this one. Those two linked up for the goal. It will be Maraca. And he hits the crossbar and the follow up foot in. So Ryo makes it five goals in four games now. Oh, for NYCFC, big update as Philadelphia takes a 4-1 lead against TFC2. That means Philly will stay equal on points if both teams can hang on. Right outside the playoff spot as Aravalo hits the post. Night early ball to Fusan. Fusan clearly in an offside position. Back in April, it was a 3-2 win for Columbus. They broke out early, two goals in the first 16 minutes. NYCFC gets their revenge. They say anything you can do, we can do better. Two goals in the first 12 minutes tonight. 5-2 win for NYCFC in Columbus. Big win there, big win for the Union who beat TFC 2, 5-3 at Subaru Park on the day for Philadelphia in that one. 
where you had a very, very busy day. You had a brace for Christopher Donovan for the Union in the 24th and the 84th. Then you end up with uh, three goals in eight minutes for the Union, by the way. And it would be Francis Westfield, Stefan Stojanovic, and Jeremy Raffanello scoring in the 50th, 55th, and 58th. That would get you five on the board. TFC, though, they would not give up. They were down. Uh, Jaquil Marshall Ruddy scored in the sixth to actually give Toronto the lead before they would trail 3-4-1. They would trail 4-1. Then you would have a goal scored by Miles Morgan in the 76th, and that would get it to uh, 4-2. Then it was 5-2 with the Donovan Brace, and then you end up with Rashawn Walk scoring in the 86th to make it 5-3. Eight goals on the board. Philadelphia gets full points. Big win for them. Saturday, a couple of matches. St. Louis City 2 shuts out Vancouver 1-0. Colorado Rapids 2 shuts out Real Monarchs 2-0. And LAFC 2 in another round of El Traficito beats Los Dos LA Galaxy 2 by the final of 2-1 at Dignity Health Sports Park. So that sets up your Sunday. Crown Legacy and Red Bulls tie at 1 after 90 minutes. Charlotte uh, Crown Legacy wins 4-2 on PKs. This was a match at Land United 2 was paying attention to a great deal. Chicago Fire Sporting Kansas City. And the Fire would win 3-2 after being down 2-0. Big full points for Chicago Fire. Enter Miami 2, but a, put a whooping early on. FC Cincinnati winning 3-0. Loons 2 and Austin FC 2. Los Verdes. Los Verdos. That's right. Los Verdos. Austin FC 2. Goes to penalties with the Loons. Minnesota wins 9-8 in penalties. 9-8. So the extra point goes Minnesota United's way. And then Atlanta United 2 down 1-0 to Hunt City at the half. Comes storming back. Here's your highlights in that one. The two goals that made the difference for Atlanta United 2's first win of the year. Jason Longshore on the call on the SDH Network. It's Firmino on the left of the middle third. Conway flicks it out to Nelson Orgy. Orgy, cross, back post. Top of the 18. It's headed down. Scholl brings it down. Gives it to Brennan. Corner of the 18. Back to Scholl. Scholl into the 18. Shot. Goal. Goal, goal, Machocho! Atlanta United 2 has a lifeline. The overload on the right created space for Nelson Orgy down the left. No hesitation on the cross from Orgy. Brought down Chole and Brennan combine, and Chole slots it past John Burner. 1 1. Left side to Firmino. Overlapping run from Tamimi. Firmino spins back inside. Drops it back. Gajardo whacked from behind by Pearson. Advantage played. Tamimi with a cross. Conway header. Goal, goal, goal. Atlanta United 2. Jackson Conway with the header. A miracle for Atlanta. An absolute miracle for Atlanta. Jackson Conway on the back post. Big Jacko with the biggest goal of his life. Atlanta United 2, as late as you can possibly imagine in second half stoppage time. They take the 2-1 lead. What a play from Atlanta United 2. What a header from Conway. Fifth goal of the year for Jackson Conway. None bigger. And that sets up our Western Conference matchup. Tacoma Defiance over uh, over uh, San Jose Earthquakes. Here's how they did it once again at Starfire, courtesy of our friends at MLS Next Pro and Apple TV. Here now is the starting 11 for Tacoma. They'll come out in a 3-4. The starting 11 now for the visitors, head coach Dan DeGearside, will come out in a 4-3-3. Just a couple moments away from kickoff here on a beautiful evening. Brief pause after the initial whistle, and there it is. MLS Next Pro Match Day 26 officially underway. Finds Rothrock, turns, lays it off. Down in the corner is Bowen. Plays it back. 
High cross swung in. Manungu challenging, touched away. Shot on goal, and it goes in. What a finish. Beautifully done by Reed Baker Whiting. The Defiance trying to prevent a counterattack or a quick transition here from San Jose. Chow, nice one touch. Lancas finds the seam. The shot, and it's off the crossbar. Oh, what a chance for the San Jose Earthquakes. A couple of beautiful passes connected. Just a nice little one-touch layoff. Lacas is always so crafty, too. Finds that seam between the defenders. Here's another chance to beat Serrano. Goes down the box, and another shot, and it goes in! San Jose Earthquakes, too, comes up with an equalizer in the 24th minute. We just couldn't quite connect on the shot. Maybe could have opted to pass. I like the aggression, though, from the Defiance, and it was a good-looking counterattack chance. Baker Whiting sends it across. A header, and it's into the back of the net! Rodilio Rodriguez buries it, his 13th of the season, and the Defiance have a 2-1 lead. When you're looking to build out as someone whose feet you can play to, you need to keep that numbers up advantage. Goalkeepers in possession of the style systems have to be comfortable to pose with the ball with the pressure. A couple of hard challenges. A couple of players go to ground here on this near side. Lalo Blancas on the ground, not getting back up. At least not initially. He does sit up and is helped up by a teammate. Our man in the 73rd minute. There's a slide tackle from behind made by Gio Miglietti. There he tries to break through a couple of tackles, then Daroma comes in and makes contact on Lalo Blancas, who immediately goes to ground. Daroma certainly, he put his hands up after, but certainly did make excessive contact coming in from the side. To debut of the season. And also, Israel Spivey into the match. There's a shot and there's a goal! Created couple of chances, did really well in terms of execution, scored the goal for San Jose. Certainly a threat up top. Here's Ion serving one into the mix. Tiggy there to clean it up. Foul in the box is called after the fact and a penalty kick is awarded here in the 90th minute. San Jose could easily find an equalizer. And Lalo Blancas has been clinical from the penalty spot. Blancas shoots and Blancas scores! He also is a player that typically is leading off either the first or the last kicker when it comes to penalty shootouts. He has just been outstanding for San Jose. Now here's a cross and in. There's a shot cleared just off the goal line. Are you kidding me? Chance after the cross is in into the mix and somehow, some way, that is cleared. Sports Stadium. Crossing into the mix. Castro off his line, he catches it. Lands on it, not taking any chances. Dynamo Dose beat Timbers 3-1 as your late game at Providence Park on Sunday night, which sets up your standings, and here's where we are. Crown Legacy's in. We know that much. Crown Legacy is at 60 points, and they have clinched the number one seed in the conference because the Revs only have one more match to go, and there's a four-point gap. Revs at 56, they have clinched the two regardless of what happens below them because Red Bulls have clinched a playoff spot at 51 points. They also only have one match to go. Crew 2 have clinched their division title at 48, but they only have two matches. They can only go as high as 54. So you're one and you're two in the East, Crown Legacy and the Revs. Red Bulls at 51, Columbus Crew 2 at 48. This sounds like they're in their own little group. Orlando City B at 41, Chicago Fire 40, Hunt City 37. That's your playoff bar. But here comes everybody else. NYCFC is at 36, Union at 36, NYC has one more win, Atlanta United 2 has 33 points, and they're coming charging, and they've got their penult they've got their final home game of the year this weekend. We'll get into that coming up in just a little bit. Eliminated from playoff contention, TFC 2 at 28 points. FC Cincinnati 2 at 27, Inter Miami 2 at 21. Now out west, Colorado Rapids have clinched the division. Two more matches, eight-point lead. They're at 60 points. Tacoma has clinched the Pacific division there at 52. 
Austin is in at 49. Sporting Kansas City, two, is in at 47. Then the fun starts. St. Louis City, two, is at 43. Dynamo Dose and Loons, two, are at 40. That's your playoff bar. Minnesota has two less uh, less wins. They would have to win out and get some help if they're going to try and win any kind of a tiebreaker against the Houston Dynamo. Below the playoff bar right now, San Jose at 39. Everybody else eliminated from postseason contention. Vancouver at 33. Timbers 2. Real Monarchs at 31. T2 have two more wins. North Texas at 30. Galaxy 2 at 25. And LAFC 2 at 22. So that's what it looks like in your conferences as you are uh, moving forward here in MLS Next Pro. Player of the match, day 26, Ronald Aravalo for his uh, – Brace against Columbus Crew 2. Team of the match day, as it should be, Atlanta United 2 for their first road win of the year. Came at a fantastic time. And then rising star match day 26, Dylan Borso for his goal that brought fire 2 all the way back from being down 2-0 at, uh, at, at uh, Sporting Kansas City 2. So Dylan Borso gets a rising star of match day 26. So we'll keep an eye on all of that, obviously. Now, going forward, let's take a peek at the schedule that is uh, coming up for MLS Next Pro on the weekend. And it starts, and it's a heavy Friday schedule, Friday night football. 5 o'clock on season pass, TFC 2 hosting NYCFC 2 Atlanta United. Two fans will be keeping an eye on that one at Belson in, in Jamaica, Queens. Fire 2 hosting OCB, 7 o'clock, MLSNextPro.com. That one is at SeatGeek. Uh, Los Verdos, Austin FC 2 on season pass, hosting Colorado Rapids 2 at 9 o'clock. LAFC 2 hosting Timbers 2 from Titan Stadium on the campus of Cal State Fullerton at 10 on season pass. Real Monarchs hosting Tacoma Defiance at Zions Bank Stadium in Harriman, Utah at 10 o'clock Eastern on season pass. Saturday, Whitecaps hosting Earthquakes 2 at the National Soccer Development Center. That's a 5 o'clock kick on MLSNextPro.com, which sets up Sunday. Union 2 hosting Huntsville at 4 o'clock on season pass. Crown Legacy hosting the Revs at 5 o'clock on season pass from Matthews. It is FC Cincinnati 2 and Columbus Crew 2 at Northern Kentucky at 6 on season pass. All of these games are at season pass. Loons 2 hosting Sporting Kansas City 2 at the National Sports Center. St. Louis City 2 hosting Los Dos at City Park. 6.30 Houston Dynamo hosting North Texas SC. That one is also on season pass. Atlanta United 2 and Inter Miami 2. That one's on MLSNextPro.com. Atlanta needs to win to try and keep up with everybody else heading to the final match day. Big matchup for Atlanta United 2 and Inter Miami 2. Don't forget, as always, to connect with MLS Next Pro on the 280 character app and on the IG at MLSNextPro.com. And you can keep up to track with all the pieces of information, all the cool activities. Golasso saves all that stuff on the 280 character app and on Instagram. Looking at any possible juice box, they do not exist currently because the games are late in the week. So when you get uh, later in the week, we'll go over juice boxes probably on the SDH network on Friday for the weekend whip around. But that is your story of what's going on as the races tighten in the east and the west for folks that want to make their way into the postseason. And the race has only two more legs to run. For everybody here at SDH, if you are in market and you can follow along, go and catch some of the action. You can sit there and say you knew the next generation of players from Major League Soccer when. I'll have the stub to prove it. Then also uh, on the board, once again, don't forget, if you're in market, follow along on local provider. If you're out of market, can't be there in person, follow along on local provider or on Apple TV when uh, it comes to keeping an eye on everything going on in MLS Next Pro. So for everybody here at SDH, I'm just John. And for Jason, play it safe, everybody. Enjoy your games in MLS Next Pro.